The thing I love most about the Super Bowl is the traditional pre-game breakfast at the International House of Pancakes. You are absolutely right, Sean. There is nothing better than a bit of rooty tooty, fresh and fruity, and off to sea, a bit of fruity. Are you uh, enjoying your snack of pancakes now, Roy? <laughs> I'm a little concerned that my muffin may in fact not be English. I think it's an American muffin pretending to be English, like Madonna. What are you talking about, you ignoramus? There isn't a more international breakfast in the world. You've got your Belgian waffles, your Canadian bacon, your French fries, and of course, huevos rancheros, which are from uh, Norway. <laughs> I'd like to be the king of I hope. You are not king of anything. We'll be one day. No. 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 Excuse me, do any of you fine gentlemen like some more coffee? Maybe something hot? No, thank you. <laughs> Tell you what, I'd like to shag that waitress. I don't wish to alarm you, but the waitress may be a man. Oh, yeah? Well, your type then. Hey? <laughs> It's Michael Caine in space. Outtakes. We had a lot of engine trouble, and Mission Control said to me, it looks like you've blown a seal. I told him, no way, that's just a toothpaste. What? <laughs> what up? Bing bong. Dosh, dosh. <laughs> me hose has come out. If I had a nickel for every time I'd said that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Stick it in there, go on. That's it. Now slap me and call me daddy. <laughs> Here, it's come out again. The hole's too big. Know what I mean? Big hole. That's right. I'm referencing a... I've gone too far. That can happen sometimes. It's Michael Caine in space. People ask me, if there's no gravity in space, how does your cocktail stay in the glass? Well, it doesn't, you see. Yeah, do you know they wanted the volunteers for the first manned probe of Uranus? <laughs> I said I gave that up in the 70s, all right. <laughs> a bloke once asked me, if I'm in space, why doesn't my drink float away? Well, I've got a question for you. If you're so smart, why don't you know I'm shagging your wife? <laughs> Something to think about, innit? ask me, they say, oh, why is Michael Caine in space? Well, it's one of these unknowable questions like, why do fish swim in the sea? Why does a lion hunt? Why does it burn when I pee? <laughs> it's all right, I know the answer to the last one, you know what I mean? Due to a printing error, Michael Caine in space is now Michael Caine in Spain. Oi! I went to Pamplona for the running of the bulls. While the young men risked their lives to prove their machismo, I proved mine by shagging all the women. <laughs> oh, lay, you bastard. It's Michael Caine in Spain. Do you know how to say, I don't want to have sex with you in Spanish? Neither do I, because I've never heard it. <laughs> I tell you what, in Spain, I always enjoy a nice siesta after a good shag. That's why I usually take about 35 siestas a day. All right, now I mean. Ooh la la, tinky wink. Doo da, tinky tong. Bingity ding, doo da. Lee lee lee, splingy. <laughs> Lot of sugar in this. That was Michael Caine in Spain. It's Michael Caine's Animal Kingdom. Did you know, if you anger a chimpanzee, it will hurl its feces at you? The same thing happens when you try to take a photograph of Sean Penn. <laughs> Here, did you see that film, uh, Milk? Oh, well, I love that film. I fast forward through the talking bits, but uh, the, uh, you know. <laughs> hey, I've got to stand up now. I'm tired of sitting down. I'll put this chair like that, it'll look like I'm on location. <laughs> I nearly smoked that there, I don't smoke. <laughs> what have you got then, Joe? You want to give me the rifle? Yeah, yeah fill me up. Okay. All right. Oh, you're oddly dressed for someone in the jungle, aren't you, mate? <laughs> hey, look at you! <laughs> what strange 
tribe are you from then? <laughs> All right, there you go. There are three kinds of North American cougar. You got your puma, your mountain lion, and Demi Moore. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. There's no ooing in the jungle. <laughs> Do not oo in the jungle. All right. That's that's day one. You learn that. <laughs> You come into the jungle, but the, the guide will say, Now, please, Mr. K, no ooing. It sets off the lions. <laughs> they'll hear the oos and they'll come bounding over, requesting things. <laughs> uh. Let's take a short break and enjoy some Michael Caine in space in Paris. There's a place in France where the naked ladies dance. It's called my apartment. Ha <laughs> ha! Oi, voila! Come this way, walk this way. Hey, if you could walk this way, you wouldn't need the aftershave, eh? Hey, I'm all right. <laughs> Do you know, Paris is the most romantic city in the world. That's why I never come here with a wife. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's a tug. I love her. God bless you, girl. See that boat down there? there that's called the Bateau Mouche. That's French for menage a trois. In France, it's still all right to smoke after sex. You just have to ask everyone else in the elevator. Oi, oi, look at this. Girls coming over. All right, girls. Look at that. I'll take the one with the white trousers. All right, ladies. All right. Bonjour. Yeah, hey, ça va? All right, dear. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet you are. <laughs> all right, yeah. She's a nice one, isn't she? The mum and the other the daughter didn't like me. All right. It's Michael Caine in space in Scotland. Over the years, I've made many visits to Scotland, some for business, some for pleasure. But they all have one thing in common. Usually by about day two, I don't remember much. Are we still in Scotland? Oh, yeah, come here. Look at this. Who the f is that? Who's that? If I'm filming you, if you, you know, if I'm talking to you, who the f is he doing over there? Is it, are you looking at my ass? You're filming, don't you f Come here, I'll f I'll f To have a really great sex life, you have to have imagination. That's why the most important organ for sex is not in fact the penis, but up here, the ears. Girls love that. You rub up against them. It feels like you're, you know, you're, do you're tickling them and listening at the same time. They love it. They love it. When you go up and you go like, like that, on a girl, on her bits, she's like, oh, he's listening to me and he's doing his duty. People say to me, Michael, you've had so many one night stands. How do you sleep at night? I say, easy. I sleep between two birds I just met. <laughs> It's a joke. I've been happily married for a long time. I love being back in the UK. Do you know, the last time I was here, I shagged the former Prime Minister. I shan't say which one. All right, I will. Tony Blair. You're welcome, stoners. Yeah, what we do is, I pretend to be Michael Caine, and, and I read some jokes over there. And, uh, and if they're funny, laugh. And if they're not, laugh. <laughs> Oi, I wish these lads in the space programme would go out and discover a planet where you're still... Sti hey, go back to the start, you bastard. <laughs> How much was your <laughs> ticket? <laughs> Just laugh. I wish the lads in the space programme would... would you, go back to the start, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, this space whiskey's great. <laughs> I can see that bird in the front row. She <laughs> hates me, I can see it. <laughs> Think about Michael Caine, there's not a lot of people know this. He's not very good. <laughs> When I go to the moon, I'm going to do a little dance and give myself a, a, a smack on the bum. <laughs> yeah, all right. Here, yeah, that bird in the front row's warmed up a bit. <laughs> I think the jokes travelling through space are finally reaching her. 